Hey everybody, it's Ozone, and it's time to complete this beacon hunt. We made it to checkpoint four last time and had yeah, just about the same amount of time that we had when we left checkpoint three. But I am ready to finish this up. Uh, our compass is pointing off in this direction. I bet our first thing is off in that direction. Yeah. But this last leg over here, this last beacon, I didn't get any time shards in. I spent the whole time poking around this lava area and not getting what I wanted. But I feel like this was, I don't know, I didn't find anything at all in there and I feel like that might be a red herring? I feel like running over there and trying to look around the jungle a bit before I head on out. But we're not going to get too far away. We're going to hang out in here for just a little bit and wait for it to become daytime. Or actually, I can just run out here and use my bed. Easy peasy. All right, well, let's run back over to the jungle. The book over here said the monkeys had hidden the time shards in the jungle. And this little lava area over here isn't jungle. It doesn't seem to be related. So I'm going to spend just a few minutes wandering around this jungle area and seeing if I could find some of those time shards that we missed last time. And I don't want to spend too much time either. But I think a little bit of time is okay. Might be up on one of those big, tall trees. Well, this area is protected. That's interesting. Oh, looky there. Looky there. Three time shards. Nice. I had a suspicion that I had completely overlooked it. And it looks like it's lit up and glowing. Ooh, I see another one over there. Can I see any more? Yeah, there's another one right there. So I got one over there, one over there, and it seems like they're all at the tops of trees. All right, easy, nice and easy, let's go. Let's get the ones we can see from here. Three more and a little bit of pumpkin pie. Nice. The other one. Oh, that's a sneaky one right there. Nice. And the other one was on top of a tree over in this, over here-ish. Oh, there's another sneaky one right here. A little bit of cookie and cocoa beans. Why do I want cocoa beans? I don't really know. All right, where did I see that other treasure chest? It was definitely down. Yep, there it is right there. All right, three more. And that's five of five. So that was, that was pretty easy. I just was totally fixated by the wrong thing, meaning this big old lava area over here, and I just wasted time pretty much just messing with that. Almost got killed, too. All right, so back on track here. We got to head this way. On to the real beacon. You know what? Let's pop in here and get rid of these time shards because there's no point in carrying them to the next checkpoint, is there? Aww. Awarded 15 minutes. Very, very nice. Happy for that turn of events. Happy to have another 15 minutes. Creepy boy saw me, and we're just going to keep on running. Well, there's a green beacon, but I thought for sure that the red or maroon beacon was the closest. But I guess I'm right here. I might as well. So if I look at... Yeah, the, the maroon one is first. Nope, it goes that way. A black one goes that way. The green one goes that way. And the black one goes that way. So, oh, well, there's, there's another beacon over there. Very nice. I like them when they're close together. Okay, so this is either cactus parkour or a cactus maze. I guess we start over here at the house. Okay, we don't have anything. Just somebody, everybody's leftovers. There's no book to tell you, tell us what to do. But... We got to go through here clearly and get through here alive, really, with all the, the 
lava and cactus and try to get to that center beacon, I guess. Ouch, man, this is rough. How do I get in there? Not that way. I'm really close. There we go. There we go. Swift sneak. Oh, hmm. Hmm. And now we got to get out of here and head to that other beacon. That was one of one. Okay. All right. Let's head on over to this beacon into this desert town ish thing. Well, there we go. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. You hear that? This is the hard beacon, huh? There he is right there. That looks terrible. You have angered the spirits of the this ancient temple. You might as well go whole hog and steal their treasure while you're here. After all, what can go wrong? What indeed? If I go in there, I'm probably going to die. So what do we got left? We got the maroon one going that way and another black one going that way. Ooh. So I'm going in naked. I'm going to just rearrange a lot of this stuff and try to, or, well, I'm going to go in mostly naked, take what I can afford to lose because we are nearing the edge. I do have the hard beacon still to go. I think I probably want to start sneaking right here, honestly. Oh. Oh, he's in a cage. Wow. One of seven? But an elytra is really good, and that was pretty easy to get to. So let me let me let me add the elytra to my goods over here because that yeah definitely very good and my time shards 12 time shards but there are more chests and I don't know how we get to them where else is there to go I am confused. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I'm sneaking everywhere. I don't know where the rest of the chests would be or how I might get to them. It looks like there's a bit of a parkour thing there. Whoa! I have no idea where that thing was, where it came from. All right, I got nothing. I got no idea. I guess it's just time to head on out because I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Okay, well, we can make up a lot of time by heading off using Elytra. All right, our medium one is that way. And the hard one is that way. But we can certainly make up a lot of time doing this. Wow. Okay, so we have some platforms. What is the point of these platforms? Well, there's a chest right there. Oh, you're supposed to ender pearl yourself to the next platform. I see. 
I missed it. Wonder how many of these I can actually make. Not that one. All right, and there I'm into water. <laughs> Great. So what I'll do is I'll elytra up to the top one and then ender pearl back down. To me, that seems a lot more smart, you know. All right, potion of healing. Okay, so we got five of those. All right, what is that? That looks like a bullseye. Did I miss one somewhere? I got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I got the five. So next I just need to go into the bullseye, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. It doesn't really look like that's where I'm supposed to go. All right, well, let's read what the book says, because I kind of short-circuited the whole thing just by going up on... Whoa! Great. Thanks, Camel. Okay. Somebody did a tricky one there or something. All right. That was number six. Need some magic in your life? Take a magic carpet ride. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, I must have missed one. I got that one. I got that one. I don't think I actually got this one. Okay. I hadn't got that one, that one point. All right. Well, that wasn't that bad, especially with Elytra. Elytra made that so much easier. Time to head on. I am almost out of rockets too. So I'm gonna have to be a little more conservative heading to this next checkpoint, which is a hard checkpoint. Much more that way. But honestly, I could go boat at this point and save my um, save my rockets. Okay, so this was a lot more westerly. Or, well, to the side. And it's going to be a hard one. So, huh, I don't know. The, the, the challenges have really been quite varied and interesting. What about that? That's a volcano with... An erupting volcano. Wow. That's pretty cool. There it is. Oh, it's a nice Atlantis theme build. I bet I got to go up onto that volcano and find the stuff. And we'll decide whether we want to do that or not. It's a, like I said, it's a hard. Oh, no, it's going to send us down into the. Uh, the ocean monument all right what are we saying here a final burst of speed may be obtained by worshiping at the ancient temple take a deep breath and try not to be seen so do i have an invisibility potion no i left my water breathing potion back at the other place so i don't think this is doable all right, well, I mean, I'm here. I might as well try. If I die, it's not that big a deal. I will take my um, helmet and my ender pearls, take off everything that I can take off, which my I can't take off my, my leggings. They're curse of binding, but that's okay. So if I lose my, my um, if I lose my helmet and my leggings, I'll be okay. Oh, I really don't see that I'm gonna, the ender pearls are gonna do much for me because you can't really throw them well underwater. 
Oh boy. This is going to be suicide. It's going to be suicide. But I guess I got to try, right? As long as I can break the line of sight for these guys, they they get reset. Breaking line of sight. Breaking line of sight. I'm going to die. Ah. Uh, I got him though. I got him. And I got the points. So if I can get back down there again trying to break line of sight as much as possible. I don't have my turtle helmet. I need air. Okay. And I went up into here. There's my There's my stuff. I'm dying. Ouch. Okay. I need to heal up and so I can make a race out. I got 10 time shards from that. I seem to be safe here for the moment. Let's get on closer. I'm not going to make it, but I'll be able to get my stuff a lot more easily. Oh, I might actually make it. I made it. Oh, I actually made it out with the time shards. Uh, was there only the one chest? No, there were six chests in there. Oh my word. Well, yeah, I'm happy with the little bit that I did get. And what did I get? I just got some dyed leather armor and a creeper head. Okay, that seems not so useful. Yeah, that was, that was enough of a challenge. I really couldn't keep my breath. So I'm happy with the 10 shards that I got out of there from the one chest that I was able to get out of there. If I had had my water breathing and a potion of invisibility, it would have been so much easier. But oh well. It's time to wrap up the event, to wrap up the race. It's time to head to the checkpoint. And for this one, I'm going to fly. This thing is absolutely beautiful and breathtaking. Oh my word. Is this is the finish line? I think. Really? Yeah, this is where that's pointing to. A true, a true is a true hero is not afraid of a little lava. Oh my! Hop right in. What are you waiting for? Sure. What am I waiting for? Just everything that I possess at stake. I'll take a potion of healing just in case, but I should be able to just fall straight through. But at the same time, you hear what I hear down there, right? You hear the dragon. Yeah, I don't know what to make of that either. Um, not going to wear my wings. I guess... I guess we go. There we go. Right on through the lava, into the water. Do I see a dragon? I hear a lot of bad stuff. What does this say? Deposit time shards here, finish. Welcome to Smaug's Lair. The hunt is nearly over. Deposit your time shards. 52 time shards going in. Two hours and 50 minutes. And then what? 
Over here? Yes. Stop. Did you deposit your time shards? Yes, I did. Pull the lever to finish. So this is where you get your points. What do we got in here? A whole lot of nothing. All right. Make sure I don't have any more time shards on me. Nope. There we go. 541 points and 177 points for time remaining. 541 points. Nice. Oh, I'm in spectator mode already. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. I had a lot of fun running this race. It was very interesting. Every one of these uh, challenges was something different. Ah, every one of these challenges was, some, was something different. And even though I certainly didn't 100% anything, I, yeah, I 100%ed I some things, but overall, I'm happy with even the little bit of time shards that I got. And I'm sure I missed a whole lot of things, but I'm happy with the little bit that I got. It was great fun. Thank you so much, Dippy Blether, for inviting me to be a part of this event. And I'm really happy with my 541 points. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed watching me do something different and playing in this event. If you did, please hit that subscribe button because it means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. But for now, it's time to call it quits, wrap up this thing, and say, be excellent to each other. I'm out.